hey guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome all right guys so you can see we have a cracked mirror the housing is cracked so we're gonna replace the whole housing and the mirror so you just buy the kit all in one from any of your other parts stores definitely way cheaper than going to a dealership or some kind of mechanic got a coat it was for a few hundred dollars and i'm like okay i can do this myself at way cheaper cost here goes how are you guys this morning high school morning here in texas so this is the housing that covers the areas to which the mirror is screwed onto the car so you just use a screwdriver to pop that off So you use your screwdriver to pop this off. It has these three prongs that secures this back end to the car. If they break, you get replacements at uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's. This is one of the mirrors that is a power mirror that you can use button in the driver's side to adjust the mirror. But of course, it will have an electronic connection. And also if it's, you have mirrors that are heated, you also have the electronic connection here. So you have three look like 30 millimeter bolts that hold your mirror onto the car so we're gonna remove those before we move on so here we have three 10 millimeter bolts so we're gonna get those off and when we're taking those off you want to be careful just to support the mirror so it doesn't fall and break and get glass everywhere and we're gonna also disconnect from our electrical supply right here all right let's get it off off real easy it's not much force needed of course you want to save these bolts to reuse so before we go any further let's disconnect our power supply all right so just to disconnect our power supply there's a clip right here push up it comes right out so let's undo our bolts here Make sure you support the mirror like I said before. And you want to keep these bolts handy because you got to replace them. Reuse them to secure our new mirror. Just need to loosen our bolts some more. Ten millimeter bolts. And just keep supporting. It's only being held up by this last bolt here. There we go. And then lastly, we're gonna unscrew this screw here just to release this bracket. All right, you just wanna make sure you keep this part so you can reuse it on your new mirror. Here we go. So we removed our old mirror and so the housing's cracked and we probably could glue it together and reuse it if we really really wanted to nice easy to remove have a little an hour maybe to do some work save you some money all right so let's get our new mirror on okay here's our new mirror three bolts ears for bolts and a center screw right here same design of the power cable Want to make it fit right exactly in place. And first, we're going to put our top screw on. Actually, I think I'm going to use the one from the original part because it matches a little bit better and fits a little bit better. So let's do that. Put our bolts here so we can hold our mirror onto the car. Keep putting our bolts on. I'm glad I was able to find a black matching color for this for the mirror. I was worried I'm gonna have to do some painting also, but it worked out that I, I was able to get matching colors. So that's a plus. All 
Alright, so new mirror is on. Just gotta tighten these bolts. So before we go ahead and tighten, it's really important that we make to check. We need to check to make sure our mirror actually works. We don't wanna do all that work and then it's not working. Plugged in. I wanna hear it click. Alright guys, so we got our mirror plugged in. I'm turn the car on and check to see if it's working. So you can see our mirror is working great, so that's good news. All directions, so perfect. So the mirror is working great, so let's get it reattached properly and closed up. I'm gonna use the screw from the older mirror because it seems to hold a lot better. So we're gonna retighten our bolts. It's Friday morning, so everybody's starting to mow their yards. All right, so let's get the screw back in place. So this cord is a little bit longer than the original cord, so we can just do a little loop here just to make sure it fits in place and then cover with the backing. All right, we'll do a little loop here to place our backing. Okay, our backing's back on, guys. So how did I do? Working great. So nice, quick and easy mirror replacement for your car. If you take it to the mechanic, he's gonna charge you a few hundred bucks for uh, labor, but get a mirror for under $70 and if you have an hour of your time, you get it taken care of. Thanks for watching guys, so that was me and another adventure with my Kia Forte. If this is your first time, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe, share and comment buttons. Like I said, help us to reach 2,000 subscribers and keep this thing going. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Bless.